G'day guys, Adam from Suncoast Caravan Service, and today I'm lucky enough, I've got Remy from Enerdrive. Yeah. He's come to check out our newest install. We've done a retrofit on this new age caravan, and it's up to the new compliance coming out 18th of November, the new standards. Yeah, yeah, so we've right. made sure this one's absolutely up to spec. Spot on, yeah. Remy's come to check up on us, make sure it's right. Yep. And uh, let's go inside and let's check it out. All right, now we've come inside. This is the system we've put in in this new age caravan. So the caravan's, I think it's six or seven years old now. Yep. Customers have opted to upgrade. They've had AGMs underbody. Yep, yep. Um, we've brought it all inside. We're still complying with the new yeah, regulations. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so let's run through the system. We've got a 60 amp hour... AC charger. AC yep. charger. Uh, we've got a 40 amp hour solar regulator. Yep. Uh, we've got the DC to DC. Yep. Uh, 2600 watt inverter. And in this black box over here, we've custom made an aluminium box with a gasket seal on top. We've nut the top of the box, so you've got to unscrew uh, your fixings the, the, to physically get the batteries get out. Yep. Yep. Uh, we've got the batteries mounted up in the box there. Yeah. Um, and we've got a one-way dust valve in the back of it, so air can escape, if escape it needs to, yeah. but it can't come back out yep. if they're if they're hitting some um, some dirt roads there. So. Um, we've also got the kill switch yep, on the side switch there, on the top. Um, and we've got it glanded through the side of the box as well. So. Yeah, so you, you really like loving this. This is really cool. Um, you know, there's a bunch of different ways that people are doing this, but yeah. this aluminium box, yeah, love it. Really cool. You've given them plenty of space in here as well, so they can work with it. And then obviously you've got your your through bulkhead connectors or glands, whichever yeah. way you want to call them. But basically passing that um, the power basically from your battery to the outside of the box, nice clean connection point, really yeah, easy absolutely. to get to. Um, yeah, fully fully compliant. You know, we've we've got a, a sealed box um, yep. around the batteries, which is what we need to, with our external ventilation achieved through yep, the floor there. Um, yeah, it's it's great, guys. I really love it. It's really super clean. Um, you know, gives the customers a easy point of access and serviceability if they ever need to. You know, they can still get this lid off relatively yep. simply. Yep. Make sure their battery connections are still tight. Like we all know, stuff comes loose as you travel. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You don't want it to be too difficult to get to because you you, know, you still need to get in there uh, and that's part of the standard. So yeah. you need to have easy access to the batteries themselves. So. Yeah. yeah. So the new standards, they sort of, they revolve around making sure that batteries are safe in the caravan. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's all it's all about the gas that can be potentially released by the batteries. Yeah. I mean, you know, in the entire history of Enerdrive, we've we've not had them gas before. It's yeah. it's something that it, there's a potential for it to happen. Absolutely, you know, it's a small potential, but it's something we're just working our way around to make sure that we're safe. You know, that everything's doing what it should be doing. Yeah, um, and you know, should that gas actually be able to escape out of this battery itself, it's not going to escape outside of the box into no. what is classed as our, our habitable space. Area. Yeah, yeah um, So you know, because there is obviously still ventilation within this bed space. Yeah. Um, because everything's going to just basically go straight through that one-way valve outside of the van, we're all good. So yeah, that's that's perfect. that's what the standard's asking for regarding your battery fitment. So you guys have smashed it. It's awesome. So, perfect. Yeah. One of the other things they are really specific on in the new standards is yep. the solar. So yeah. we might pop up and have a yeah, bit of a look we'll at the solar, the solar and what we've done there. Yeah, cool. yeah absolutely. Go. All right. As we said, we've come up from the bed. We're up here in the overhead cupboard now. One of the other new compliance sort of regulations yeah. and something they're really focusing on is the solar panels, solar panels yep, and yep. making sure that they're individually fused yes, and correct. there's a breaker there yeah, yeah. prior to going down to the... Yeah, um, so for your um, for a parallel system, so yep. if, when you've got all your panels on the roof uh, joined up in parallel, which is 99% of every system we yep. deal with, the shading effects and all the rest of it, you need to have our individual fusing before yep. we're joining those panels up. So yeah, so you can see here, really nice and easy. So you've got the four panels coming in over here and we've got an individual fuse per panel. We're actually joining those panels in parallel through the use of this particular fuse block. And then yep. we've got our output going through our individual circuit isolation being yep, our perfect. breaker there, which is everything that the standard's asking for. So the individual fusing piece, we've, we've yep. got that nailed. And perfect. then we've got our individual either fuse or breaker. In this case, we're using a breaker, perfectly fine. Singular point of isolation is what they're yep. looking for prior to joining to the solar controller. So yeah, everything there is perfect. perfect. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a happy customer on our hands. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So yeah. this van's being handed back to the customer prior to November 18 when yep. the new standards yep. are implemented. We've had a grace period for 12 months. 12 months, correct, yeah. 12 months finishes November 18, 18th, but yeah. we wanted to make sure this system was compliant and we're up to speed. And as a business, we're heavily focused on making sure that we're compliant yep. and yep. making sure you're you know, on board. Yeah, on board with the new regulations absolutely. and delivering product back to the customer yeah, that absolutely. is safe and uh, It's and always compliant. good to see you guys, you know, jumping on a bit earlier so that you guys are starting to make sure that you guys yeah. are knowing what you need to do before absolutely. you get to the time where you need to well, do it. Well, we want so. our customers to know that, you know, if they get work done by Suncoast Care and yeah, Services, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be really quite standard and it's going to be compliant for Absolutely. Well. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, thanks very much. I had the leg cramp and I give you. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I seen you shuffling at the end, and I was like, he's cramping. I yeah, can yeah, tell. yeah. <laughs> yep.